Yeah. <laughs> Open your earwaves and hear my hearsay. Here's a little show by the name of Tango Tenge. An animation that's semi astounding and came out four years after the year 2000. I first saw it at the age of 13. <laughs> and yes, nostalgia is lurking in me. I caught a little urge, then I had to revisit it. And then I made the video to make you inquisitive. But it's not flawless, and it's got problems. But I'ma break it down what they could've did to solve them. The action, some of the best of the best, but the story kinda boring and it may leave you stressed up. Let's talk about it. The nostalgia flows like a river through my body for this episode as I revisit one of my middle school and early high school classics with a very underrated but cult classic anime from the early 2000s. When you talk about the 2000s in general, it carries its own unique legacy in terms of its distinctive art styles, animation styles, music, and the way that they were overall directed and delivered. Just like we see with modern anime, an anime from the 80s, 90s. When I think about 2000s anime, I think of shows like, of course, Naruto and Bleach. I think of Air Gear. I think of Death Note, Soul Eater, Baki the Grappler. And I also think of today's episode, Tenga Tenge. Okay, so I actually think about Tengo Tenge anytime I think deeply about my history personally with anime. Why exactly is that? Well, at 13 years old, a young, fresh, impressionable mind, new to the world of anime and manga, was surfing the net one summer on endless amounts of anime forums and stumbled on a random YouTube link somebody posted entitled, Thank Me Later. When I clicked it, I was forever imprinted with a 240p clip of this scene. Fight. That did it. It's not that the whole point to this show is every character's purpose of existence in this series is to be a fighter, and most of them thirsting to prove that they're the best fighter, it's that the show literally takes itself seriously with this concept. And it's awesome! Not only with Test of Strength, but being the strongest means so much to these characters to the point where there are moments that you could feel them self-loathing during times of disappointment. The main premise behind the anime is about a school where everyone fights. That's all you really need to concern yourself with. From there, it goes into various story elements such as the why, which takes you into some backstories, the how, which delves into chi and things like that, and definitely other different techniques characters use. And honestly, this is your whole purpose for watching this show. The action. I say this because the story honestly fell short. It starts off seeming like an epic bout is about to go down in this school like most shonen do, but then obviously wanted to take it a more unique direction, which ended up being its very downfall. Starting with the middle quarter of the show going into backstory on a few characters who aren't the main characters. Huge no-no on a 24 episode show to be honest with you. It's not so much that the story being given is unwatchable, it's that it doesn't go in the direction that you expected it to go to in the time you get to the end. So I'll leave it there with you. The story means a lot. Skip this one because by the time you get to the end, you will be quite pissed off. I really want you to watch this for its action though, it's strictly its action. And also the art and animation is so on point with decent enough music. It's a hidden gem in my book. Didn't plan on this one being too long winded here. So just check out Tengo Tenge, okay? Like the video, comment down below what y'all want to see next. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Anime back when.